Hello everyone, and welcome back. It's more Honkai Star Rail. Today we're pulling for Robin. Put 30 pulls in so far and haven't got her. But then the stream kind of died, so now I have to restart it. But yeah, I'm only putting in 110 at most, and I've already put in 30. So I have another 80 at most to go. Okay, that's 40. 50. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Eighty pulls! And now I have Robin. That wasn't even the guarantee yet. And I can save all my other pulls for whatever the next banner is going to be. Which I have enough to buy 51 from here. There, yeah. I have enough to guarantee the next banner I want still. Let's see what Robin's actual stuff is, though. What does she need to rank up, anyways? Okay. Let's level her. Claim the reward. Level up. Yeah, and I also got this one. How far? Oh, I have her max Adelon. Did I get any for... Zui? I've got two for her. Oh. So everybody on that banner except Zui was max, like maxed. Let me see what her traces are. This character's action is advanced forward by 25%. Additionally regenerates energy. Oh, that's much a follow-up attack increases. Oh, she's a follow-up attack. Increases all allies' crit damage by 5%. Attack enemy targets, generates energy for herself. Oh, that's just straight up the whole time. I'm jumped by all hours by 25%, lasting for three turns. That makes all other allies immediately take action. Plus 50 more after every attack by allies yields additional equal to 75% of her attack. And at 100% crit rate and 150% crit damage. Huh. I'm going to put her in my party, I think. The question is, is who do I take out of my party? Do I have any light cones that actually work for her? Uh, the next ally deals increased damage. Damage all increases. This one is... Effects of the same type cannot stack. Is that actually the best thing I have? Really? I don't want to advance forward her action.
But she actually wants... If I got that correctly, she actually wants attack. She doesn't want crit damage or anything. She just wants attack. Damage by 5%. There's no physical damage. Damage up by all eyes by... So it's 2% per level, so it's going to end up being about 50% increase for 3 turns. So yeah. The problem is, is my party right now is Acheron... Sele, Silver Wolf, and Hua Hua. I think I'm gonna take Sele out of the party soon, I guess. Maybe. I have no clue at this point of who should be the one. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a way to ascend you. Which, let's go here. Let's take difficulty two. And wait. What? Actually what? I just I just got spoiled so hard that this gets a new freaking form. I now need to see what they freaking do. The Trailblazer gets a new element. He throws the hat. I'm just gonna kill him. But yeah, the Trailblazer gets a Harmony care. Oh. Harmony Imaginary. That is an interesting combination. Yeah, the fact she only wants damage. Just, just straight up, she wants damage. Let's see what relics I can give her then. Uh, that's break effect, which she doesn't need. Doesn't need that. That's wind damage. Do I have a physical damage orb that's good for her? She doesn't need crit damage. One of these orbs might work. Don't need effect resistance. That's crit rate, which she doesn't need. That's energy regeneration. That's break effect. Crit rate. Crit damage. Defense. Is it literally the best to have one of these ones? I don't want to have one for physical damage, though. I need to clear these out sometime. Hmm. How 
good is her speed actually? Her speed's at 102 right now, which it can increase by. 104, 107, and that's it. I don't think any of my allies have fall of attacks is the only thing that's a problem. And we'll fall Robin. Huh. She's gonna be hard just because I have to find something to use her with. But I'm gonna go back here because I have now saved up 20. Uh, that's Kakolia. It's also Harmony. Eh, that's regeneration, energy regeneration. That's another free pull. Oh, I got a freaking fu- I didn't have her already. And now I do. This one is destruction. Who's this? I'm trying to figure out which character this is. I wasn't expecting to get Himiko. And they're probably never going to be in my party, I have to admit. Because I do not... I'm saying this might be a bit controversial. I do not care enough about Himiko. I knew her from Honkai Impact and didn't really care for her. Let me go check out how she works, actually. How the game wants you to make her work. They will follow you. Wind flip. Okay, increases damage. There's actually freaking music. <laughs> the fact is that she's just gonna die, really. I couldn't tell if her damage was actually increasing that much here. I kinda understand how you're supposed to use her. Kinda, sorta. Oh yeah, I got something for somebody. Which character was it? 
Oh, yeah, I got a new Himiko. Just to grab the star rail pass. I still can't figure out what type of light cone I'm going to give her, though. Deals 60% damage. This might be the best one. See, this one is... Much less damage. Like, just straight up attack. But I will equip it. I can actually enhance it too. So it gives you like a hundred less attack, just because it's a this one instead of a max one. Actually, let's go to the synthesizer and see if I can't synthesize the equipment. Let's attack. Physical damage. Or just hit their attack increase by 5%. It might not be half bad actually. It's a stacking increase. Or I could get two 12%. This one. If at least one other ally follows the same path, crit rate increases. For so allies that are the same type, see twelve percent versus twelve percent. Yeah, the only one that's actually good is this. But I'm going to use mine on, I think, two of the, or one of these. Okay, so that only gets attack. Attack, HP, defense. Effect resist, break effect. Eh. Actually, yeah, let's go to salvage. I'm getting rid of all these because I don't need effect resist. Two hundred and forty, so that's enough for three new things. And then we're gonna go here and break a few of them. Okay, there. Needs more attack. Oh, I also got attack as a stat, too, on that one. Okay, that's those two. And then I'm just gonna put a cowboy hat and hands. Or should I do this? Increase physical damage by 10%. Let's do this, actually. That's not attack percent, but I can... 
probably do summon with it. That has speed and HP. Uh, I want to grab one of these with physical damage. And now, we get her suited up. With this new one, the gloves, this, this. None of these are physical damage, I should have checked. Okay, anyways, moving on, I should have checked them first, yeah. Now we need one of these for attack. Which I don't think I'm ever using Herta again. Honestly. Okay, yeah, that's kind of meh. What does Shushang have? Attack or damage, defense. Affected rate. Effect resist I could actually use a bit of. But I'll keep that one, I guess. Oh, it's HP, the stat I got. Okay, compare this to these two. HP, affected rate. I got more effect hit rate, yippee! You know, I would very much have appreciated if they got any of the attacks out there. At least defense and HP are actually going to let her survive a bit. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to get... I don't think I want to get Akron off my team, so it's going to have to be Sele if I get anybody. In which case, I would lower my damage potential on my team. Begs the question, is the additional support from her worth getting rid of Sele? And I'm not sure if the answer is yes. Because I can't get rid of Hua Hua. Because I... I kind of need Hua Hua on the team. Defense. An upgraded speed three times. Okay, hit that attack and give me attack percent if you could. Crit damage. Okay, it's not optimal, but it is something. She has 21,000 attack. As a level 50 character.
That's actually getting close to the same attack that Silverwolf has. But yeah, I need to at least upgrade her more. So she passively increases crit damage and actively increases all damage. Hmm. I'm just thinking about it. I don't think I'm going to have her in my main team. What I th think I'm going to do is I'm going to have her in a side team for like the... Uh, what's it called? Oh, my brain can't think of what it's called. Like, these things. The Forgotten Hole. Because I don't think I can get rid of anybody at the moment. But yeah, it took 80 pulls and I got Robin. And she seems to be an attack. Pretty good at attacking. Just need to go get these. But I'm probably going to do this off... Actually, no, I can do it on screen. I want to see if anybody actually has Robin as a support. I don't see any Robins yet. Still no Robins. Maybe nobody's actually upgraded them far enough. Or maybe they just don't want to use her as a support character. One of those two. Let's see if I filter physical. Yeah, I don't think anybody actually has Robin set as a support. actually interesting to think of. Screw it, I'll just use my own Acheron then. Yeah, I'm still not a hump sure I'm gonna put a Robin in my team. Definitely looks like a good support though. I have so many supports already though. <laughs> At least one thing though, she's not going in the team until she is at least level 80. Yes! <laughs> 
I am tempted to do something really stupid though. Like I could actually take Fuo Fuo out of the team, put Robin in, but then I have no healing. But I'm not taking Akron just because of how good she is at just beating up mobs. あの世に送ってやる。ガツンとこれやっていこう。あなた、すべてが。次、あの世に送ってやる。楽にした。ちょっと共に散れ。スターレインファントム。I do have to say, I like the sound of Robin's voice at least, though. And yes, that's kind of the reason I pulled four. It was just because I like the sound of her voice. And the last one of these for the day. Then I get to see how much I can actually upgrade her. Yeah, let's see how much I can actually upgrade her. I think I can only do it one more level to like 60, I think, is it? Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to have a four-star character in my party again. I have so many five-stars at this point that I don't think I'm actually going to ever have them. Okay, I need that much. But yeah, that's all this, without actually any of your traces, because, let's see, that's another 4%, 6%, 16%, that's another 14% damage I can get from here. Plus these actual things. So she's meant to just always use her ultimate, essentially. Make all of that as me take action. He saw I was attacked by 16% of her attack. Plus 65. After every attack by allies, deals additional physical damage to 76% of her attack. For one time with a fixed crit rate for this damage set at 100%. So she will always crit on the additional, like, follow-up attack. Cannot enter her turn or take action. Is immune to crowd control debuffs and cannot take her turn or take action. And immediately takes action. The countdown has its own fixed speed of 90. That is actually wild the more I read that. It is base 76% of her attack. For every attack by the allies. I might actually take Hua Hua off. Is there any... Uh, any of these that actually regenerate health? Oh. Um... 
I'm just quickly checking if any of these regenerate health. Like, is there anything I have that regenerates health? That's increased by 7, 12%. Actually, what do I have on... Well, there's a 60% chance to ensnare them, but this one is... I should put Welt on... Acheron, actually. But yeah, switching out Hua Hua... Would even more make me, make me a glass cannon. Because I'd have no healing. But, if I heal the enemy fast enough, I could just shove food afterwards. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the stream here for today. So it took 80 pulls to get this nice looking person. Also, her skill just pointed out to me, she has wings on her like actual sides. And wings on her neck. Not sure why she needs both. Yep, yeah, that's all for today. Hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.